customers oh customers do you find yourself searching for customers well we are going to talk all about how you can start building your customer base and building your business ready get set let's go Jackie Duran, welcome back to my channel. And today I wanted to come to you and talk to you about finding customers. That's right. It can be a little scary. It can be a little intimidating. You may not know where to start. So for those of you who are just now starting your Scentsy business, or maybe you've been running a Scentsy business for a while, but you just need to build up your customer base this is the perfect time. I'm going to share with you some of my favorite tips on just how to do this. All right, so I'm pretty sure that you guys kind of have an idea of where I'm going to start with this, or maybe you don't. The first thing that I'm going to talk to you guys about is samples. When you are an independent Scentsy consultant, oh my gosh, you guys, we have to get our product into the hands of our customers. And a really good way to do that is through samples. I will tell you that for me personally, smelling the different Scentsy scents was truly the way and the reason that I ended up joining because I just loved the product. And I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I work from home. I really like my house to not only look its best, but to smell its best. Samples are definitely the way to get going. And they're a really fun way to meet new people. So here's kind of how I do um, a sample of my samples. <laughs> Every month I take the scent of the month or my favorite scent, it just depends. And I actually melt it down. I create these beautiful little molds. You can see this one's a heart, sorry, it's upside down. And then I use the rub and sniff stickers, put it on a bag, and then I put it on the flyers for the warmer and scent of the month. And these actually get mailed out, handed out. However, I can get them out of my house. That's how they get out. I even send them with my husband to work. Another fun way that I like to get them out of the house is to put them in little Mrs. Backpack and she can also take them to school and hand them out to the teachers. It also is a great way for me to get her talking to the teachers more and just getting her more out there and talking to those adults in her school. Now, I'm gonna give you one rule when it comes to handing out samples. Make sure that your information is somewhere attached to that sample. Whether that's just a sample in a bag and you've attached your business card, whether it's to a flyer, and you've put your name or your sticker on the back, I don't care what that looks like for you and your business. Just make sure that they have an idea of how to contact you when they want to order or when they want to try the next new scent. I think you guys all know me well enough by now to know that I can't go a video without talking about social media. So of course I'm gonna tell you that social media is an amazing way to help you also bring in customers to your business. One of my personal favorite ways to do this is through all different types of social media. But my favorite source of social media happens to be Instagram. I'm a very visual person. I love being able to take pictures of lifestyle shots of how I use Scentsy in my home. And my husband bought me this really great Canon camera that I really need to start learning how to use. So Instagram is the perfect place for my creativity when it comes to taking pictures. I can take great pictures in my own home. I don't need anything crazy. Trust me guys, I use my phone still to this day. My husband did buy me a new camera because I have a lot of stuff that is going on and he really wanted to support me in all those different ventures. But 
guys, there's a lot of buttons on this thing. So I really have to work it out. So until then, use your phone. If you don't have a camera, that's okay. You don't need a camera because our phones nowadays take pretty darn good pictures. You can find different ways to stylize your photos from changing up your wax to cleaning the house with Scentsy Counter Clean to even doing laundry with the Lusher Whisk. Anybody else do laundry? Finding ways to be able to just share what you're doing in your everyday life and posting that and using that on Instagram as an example is just a really great way to just get the products out there and get them in front of people. Now I am going to also, just like I told you with the samples, make sure you have a contact method. I clearly, clearly advise you guys to go into the bio of your Instagram and make sure that your website, your email address, whatever it is, is somewhere listed so they can get a hold of you. Jackie, I'm still looking for ways to get customers. Hopefully by now you guys already have at least a handful of customers that have ordered for you or have shown interest in ordering from you. This is a perfect opportunity to talk about referrals. Do you have a referral program in place? If not, you really need to work on starting one. Now, your referral program can look like however it works best for you and your business. For me personally, I like to reach out to my customers, reach out to my previous hosts, especially those VIP customers, and let them know I have an amazing referral program. Now, a lot of my communication with my customers and my VIP hosts, it goes out via text. So I actually create a cute little graphic just using an app on my phone and I text that out. And what that does is it actually lays out my referral program. So what my referral program looks like if they just refer someone to me, what it looks like if they refer someone to me and they end up hosting a party. There's a little bit difference in how that referral program works, but I just encourage you to look for ways to set one up for yourself because guys, Referrals are truly one of the best ways to gain new customers. Are you ready now to start building this customer base? Get ready because you're gonna start handing out samples. You're gonna start rocking that Instagram, right? And you're gonna work, if you don't already, on getting a referral program set up and a really good way to communicate that out to your current customers, hosts, and your friends and family. Start working on this guys and please share with me down in the comments. Let me know what are the ways that are working best for you to find those new customers? What are the areas you're struggling in? Drop it below and let's start talking. Of course, I'm going to remind you guys to make sure that you're subscribed and hit the bell to get notifications when a new video drops. Until next time, I'm going to see you with lots more customers. Peace, love, happiness. Bye.